Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Academy. This is the second scenario in the Western Desert Campaign. Uh, Desert Convoy is the name of the scenario. An Italian convoy is moving to supply to supply an outlying base. Some really nice artwork. An M13, I'm assuming. Maybe an M15. I don't know. Probably an M13. Um, when it is ambushed by a waiting British column. Destroy the convoy and defeat any rescue attempt. Cool looking old Matilda's coming out here. But I really like this like comic book, like just visuals. It just looks cool. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, in this one we actually get some points to spend on different units we can bring in. Probably gonna buy another Matilda. Down here at the bottom is we have 300 points. I bought a Matilda for 96 points. Um, I think I'll buy the Bren carrier, a unit of infantry, uh, another Stuart, an M3 Stuart light tank, which is, as far as armor goes, is not nearly as good as a Matilda, but it's probably a lot faster if I remember. At least it ought to be. And honestly, it's armor piercing isn't that much. It's only one point, or sorry, two points worse than the Tilda. Tilda's 33 and you're 31. Stuart's a pretty cool little little light tank. Um, we have enough points, so we're going to buy one more infantry unit. And we're going to go. Okay, the Italian convoy is advancing towards the village. Intercept and destroy the convoy and capture all victory points. Beware enemy reinforcements attempting a rescue. So we start here. I'm going to capture this point. Head off their reinforcements. Or their rescue. Or sorry. Uh, convoy and then their rescue attempt. Okay. Let's see what we got here. For support, we got Blenheim Bomber. And we've got a bar barrage. I think we're going to drop the barrage right there to soften this area up so we can capture it. What are these? M13s. Yes. Okay, my infantry here is kind of in a bad spot. The tanks are going to... Let's see here. I think my infantry and the Bren carriers are going to concentrate on attacking the settlement and kind of forming a blocking force. And whereas my tanks are going to race out and try and head off this convoy. Not in range yet. These guys should be... Actually, I'm going to put these guys, have them hold fire. We'll have them hold fire for right now. We're going to just advance our tanks out here. Yeah, the stewards are a lot faster. We'll have them destroy the convoy. Um, these guys are not carrying anybody, so you'll go ahead and hop in there. These guys are carrying infantry. These infantry will get ready to assault this town. Move those guys there. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, I guess they called in the barrage. Down. Let's press the squad and it looks like they killed one guy. So that's not good. Okay, now their tanks are getting pushed. Here comes my barrage. Hopefully I don't hit my own guys. Taking casualties from artillery fire, the Italians must be calling in these attacks from the settlement. Yada yada, that's what we're doing. Okay. I'm gonna move in here. We'll start off by trying to suppress that bunker. Okay, let's see what happens. Deploy these guys. No, that's not what I wanted to do. It worked out, but gosh, I could have been bad. Wanted to suppress it. Non oh, nice. Okay. Um, 
and take another risky move and drop these guys off here. Okay. We're calling artillery bombards. bombardments. Very good. Okay, let's go back up here and pick up these guys. My, this is a uh, Bren team. I think I'll leave them there. Oh, these guys, they're just, wait there, I guess. Um, actually, let's move this here and we'll send these guys to reinforce the village. Okay. Ooh! Well, that was not good. Actually, what does he have? He has 36 armor piercing. He is a bit more dangerous. Watch out for that. Yeah, I know that. Okay, he's suppressed at least. Uh, that kind of sucked losing one of my stewards so early. Target eliminated. To watch out for those trucks. Oh, my gun carriers intercept him. Okay, I wonder what this. Blumheim Palmer does. Let's drop it on that guy and see what happens. Uh, actually, it takes two turns. He'll, he'll have moved by that point. What we'll do is we'll drop it here on the village. That's what we'll do. Okay. Okay. Let's have this guy go out here and try and deal with the truck. Scratch one. There we go. Yeah, okay. Um, let's have them fire the infantry. Siamo sotto attacco! I'll shoot at the truck. There Scratch one. The L3s will probably, or technically they're called CV-33s, but the L3s will probably shoot at the infantry now. Oh, and he moved up next to my infantry, my guys. So that's why it's really dangerous moving your tanks in close to, to infantry with no, like, without clearing it out first. So your infantry ambush it and then blow up the tanks. Armored column approaching from the west, that's not good. We gotta deal with the rest of these tanks and then get back there quick. quick. There's more Italian tanks. Okay, let's get him back so I don't want him out in the open. This guy's gonna roll back here. Over there, the infantry. Get ready to suppress them, essentially. Or ambush them, not suppress them. Get ready to ambush any tanks coming this way. Okay. No! At least we're keeping them back. Okay, that other L3 is taken care of. Or, not L3, but uh, L M15 is taken care of now. Which is good. Target eliminated. We'll just quickly try and mop up here. He's in there. Maledizione! Um. That guy already fired. He, that's right, he already fired. I already did that. Okay. Scratch one. Well, they have infantry right there. That's not good. And here comes my bomber. Did anything, but um, okay. I'm gonna send the steward back. 
the let's bring these guys out and make them test the engines here. Tank out. There's that. Let's move up here. That's actually. Ah, uh, oh well. Jeez. Okay. Whoa, No! No! I should probably get the. Guys heading back to, back to the settlement. And uh do that next. Okay, here comes a rescue attempt. Let's see, look, capture and hold VP points. So this is the other point I gotta capture, I gotta remember that. Um M13 is Certainly a match for my steward, so I gotta be a little careful when I'm dealing with this guy. Put him there. Move him up there, okay. M13 there. Can't pop shit. Okay. I need to I need to get our tanks moving back. Yep, ambush tomb. This is what happens when you don't have proper infantry support. We're going to send these guys out to kind of recon in this area. Try and reconnoiter around the northern end of the uh, um, village. Okay, nice. Get my face. Send him forward to see if they have any more tanks. Load up an infantry squad and bring these guys out. Well. That is the thing about the Matildas, they're really slow. I do want to leave some infantry here to guard this, just in case. the Bren gun and these guys here. I think they do have they have a uh, 
I think they might still have an L3 out here. Might be the one that... I don't remember if I killed the one that was up here. Or the ones that were... I don't remember. Um, either way, I should be able to deal with it. Like the, uh, that's all they're pretty beefy, so... Nope, that's not what I want to do. Now, even though I can't see anybody in these buildings, I'm not taking any chances. Even though, actually, it doesn't seem like there's anybody here. So, yeah, sometimes it can be a waste of time doing this, but at other times, I didn't know there was anybody. There wasn't anybody here, so I just decided that... You know, better not take any chances. You have limited forces and you, you know, just race up like that and try to take a village without knowing if there's anybody there or not. It can, you lose a lot of troops doing stuff like that. Italian, we have cut the Italian supply route and that is victory. Very good. Okay, objective completed. We lost one tank. Uh, even though our squads took casualties, None of them were wiped out, so that's what that counts. When it, as far as the scoreboard go, goes, that's how they count that. And that was the second scenario. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment, you know, if you guys have any suggestions. Um, if I'm talking loud enough, or if I'm not talking loud enough, or loud enough. If I'm not, if I am or am, am not talking loud enough is what I was trying to say. Um... Please let me know. If you don't want me to talk at all, let me know. Um, yeah, you guys have yourselves a good night, day, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. I will see you all later.